once upon a time in Franklin, Tennessee, United States. A band was formed and nobody ever imagined that one day they would become the famous alternative rock band known as Para Mar. But how did Paramore become such a famous alternative rock band? they become an alternative rock band. What does Paramore really mean is one of Haley Williams' most treasured possessions, a camouflage hunting knife. In the early days, did they really study the Bible while on the road? Did Atlanta Records really sign her with the hopes that they would one day become pop stars? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more, since this is ASMR. Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this read helps you get you through your day. This is the tale of Bear War. Once upon a time in Franklin, Tennessee, United States, a band was formed by four youngsters. Nobody ever imagined that one day they would become the famous alternative rock band known only as Paramore. But how did Paramore become such a famous alternative rock band? Why did they become an alternative rock band? What does Paramore really mean? Is one of Haley Williams' most treasured possessions a camouflage hunting knife? In the early days, did they really study Bible while on the road? Did Atlantic Records really sign her with the hopes of making her a pop star? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more, since this is ASMR Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this video gets you through your day, or even better, I hope this read helps you gently, gently fall asleep. I can't wait to get started. This is the tale of Paramore. Paramore is a rock band coming from Franklin, Tennessee, which was formed in 2004 with Haley Williams as lead singer and keyboardist, Josh Farrow as lead guitarist and backing vocalist, Jeremy Davis as a bass guitarist, and Zach Farrow as a drummer. They were then joined by Haley's neighbor, Jason Bynum, as a rhythm guitarist. Over the following years, they started performing at venues outside the greater Nashville area, including singing at several concert festivals. Purple Door, and Warped Tour. Wanting to step further into the music industry, Paramore sent a demo track to John Janik, CEO and co-founder of the music label Fueled by Ramen. John was amazed by their rock sounds and decided to go to one of their live performances at Taste of Chaos in Orlando, Florida, to see them singing live. Finding their shining musical talents, John invited them for a smaller private performance and signed them to the label in April 2005. Holding the chance to record music in their hands, Paramore didn't want to waste their time and started to record a debut album. At that stage, Jeremy unfortunately had to leave the band, citing personal reasons. Two days after he left, the four remaining band wrote a song called All We Know as a tribute to Jeremy's withdrawal. We decided we were going to base the album off of that, which is also what the cover means. The couch with no one there, and the shadow walking away. It's all about Jeremy leaving us, and us feeling like there's an empty space, Haley said during an interview. Before their debut album, All We Know Is Falling, was released, Paramore asked Jeremy to rejoin them. The idea was agreed by Jeremy, 
and they once again became a five-piece band. Tied together with five members, they dropped the record on July 24, 2005. The LP peaked at number 13 on Billboard Top Pop Catalog. Meanwhile, their first single off the effort, Pressure, managed to climb to number 62 on Billboard Hot Digital Songs. In January 2006, Paramore was lined up for Winter Go West Tour performer. They played alongside Amber Pacific and The Lashes. In spring 2006, Paramore was booked as an opening act on headlining tours for Bayside and The Rocket Summer. Their performance continued as they played a portion of Warped Tour in summer 2006, primarily on Volcom and Hurley stages. Finally, Paramore got their first United States headlining tour on August 2, 2006. The tickets for the concert were sold out. Their performance on the tour was supported by such bands as This Providence, Cute Is What We Aim For, and Hit The Lights. The tour was wrapped up in Nashville, performing at several festivals, becoming an opening act for other bands, and holding their own concert led them to be voted as Best New Band by readers of the British magazine Kerrang! in that year. In January 2007, Paramore entered the recording room, cooking up new materials for their sophomore major studio album. Teaming up with David Bendeth, the same man who helped Breaking Benjamin, producing Phobia, Paramore recorded Riot and dropped it in June 2007. The album peaked at number 15 on the Billboard Hot 200 Albums Chart and at number 2 on UK Rock Albums Chart. Following their success with Riot, Paramore were signed by the director of Twilight to write songs for the movie soundtrack. They worked on two theme songs, one of which was titled Decode, and deals with anger and outrage that are experienced by the main characters in the movie. The other one was a slower jam called I Caught Myself. The soundtrack album for the romantic drama movie was released on November 4th, featuring also singles from Muse and Linkin Park. The LP made its debut at number one on Billboard Hot 200 Albums Chart, having sold about 164,700 copies in its first week in the U.S. stores, and added another 107,000 copies in its second week on sale. In early November 2008, Paramore started working on new materials for their third major studio effort. During an interview with MTV, Haley shared that the band wanted to make a great record for their next project. With the way I write, I feel like I write better from those kinds of intense struggles. I pull a lot from those experiences, she said. We've all learned a lot about friendship, and we've learned a lot about ourselves, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. While their next project is still in the works, Paramore confirmed that a live CD-DVD set titled The Final Riot, containing the band's live taped performances during their Final Riot Summer Tour 2008, will be out soon. Taped and recorded during their nearly non-stop tour, the double CD-DVD package will present the band's extraordinary year with live renditions of hits such as Misery Business and That's What You Get. It is scheduled to come out on November 25th in the U.S., and will also feature the band in their most intimate moments on tour, with exclusive interviews and full access behind the scenes on the bus, at soundcheck as well as at rehearsals. In the early days, the band attempted Bible study while on the road, but now they don't get time. Says Williams, I'm not a Southern Baptist. I'm not a Presbyterian. I'm not any one thing. I just believe in Jesus. Atlantic Records signed 14-year-old Williams in 2003 with the hope of making her a pop star. Williams resisted, however, and her passion for performing alternative rock music with a band behind her eventually won out. One of Haley Williams' most treasured possessions is a camouflage hunting knife, an emblem of her Deep South upbringing. We're hillbillies at heart, she says. And so ends the tale of the famous alternative rock band Paramore, they continued to win the hearts of millions of fans all around the world.